is Brad Banker, and I am the manager of team logistics here at Andretti. I'm in charge of getting all the trucks and transporters, pit equipment, everything to the track and then back home from the track. We've added R99 or biodiesel, I believe two years ago, and it was a seamless transition for us. The overall satisfaction level has been just 100%. I think there's a lot of benefits to using biodiesel for us. The sustainability of it, I think, is most important. That's the biggest thing that we're looking for, and we wanted something that was turnkey. You didn't have to do a whole lot of changes to your units or anything like that. And we're able to, to put it into our trucks and trailers, and we don't notice any performance difference. I think from a partnership perspective, we were drawn in by biodiesel and the B20 Club with um, you know cleaner air. As an organization, Andretti Global, to be um, connected in with some sustainability messaging and really kind of walk the walk. We've expanded into multiple racing series around the world where sustainability is the lead topic. We're building a new facility in Fishers, Indiana. Sustainability is a key pillar to how that facility is coming together and very key to what Andretti does. Andretti IndyCar is globally known for their commitment to sustainability. And what we see with Andretti IndyCar is they're really leading the pack. And so it's a natural partnership between the Indiana Soybean Alliance, the 20,000 farmers in Indiana, and Andretti IndyCar, and their commitment both globally and locally to the performance and the farmers of Indiana. So for us, we're in Indiana. Agriculture and racing, it's just a natural fit. When I found out that they were using renewable diesel in their transporters, that biodiesel was being blended at where they're filling up at some of the fuel retail stations with some of their light and medium duty trucks, that was the, the, the light. That was the, okay, we've got a connection. I think one of the good things about what we're doing and why we're promoting um, soybeans in Indiana is you see them grow on the side of the road all the time and the trucks are driving past it. I just think it's kind of a unique story to tell how the soybeans grown on the side of the road in Indiana are powering these trucks that are going down the road. I think one of the things holistically that Andretti's trying to do is just try to make the world better, try to try to use less and conserve more and with the new trucks and trailers we have, getting higher fuel mileage, keeping lower emissions, um, those are all activities that we're currently involved doing.